Fuck, eh? I can see you're serious about helping me. That all you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. Right. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. Them, but if only someone could help me. Hi, I'm Renee, and I'm so bored. My mom and dad said not to talk to people I don't know, so I thought maybe I could talk to you, and then I know you, and I won't be so bored. Oh, see, now we're friends, and my parents can't say I'm not allowed to talk to you. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? It's okay, I guess. It's better than living outside, because Mars can't support life outside and I'd die. But maybe it would be nice to live on another planet someday. I think I used to when I was a real little kid. And sometimes my mom and dad would take me to visit my grandma and grandpa in New Atlantis. Not really. I mean, there's Taiye. He's a good friend, but he's also one of my only friends. There aren't many kids on Mars, because my mom says that this is really only a place where people come to work hard jobs for a little while. But I wish there were more kids, because it gets boring, like when Taiye is busy and my mom and dad are off working. I like to play with Taiye sometimes. We come up with lots of games to play. Sometimes we listen to music or watch shows. But when he's not around, I like to draw. Sometimes I draw things and give them to people since they're so mopey all the time. It makes them smile. Actually, wanna help me? I just drew these great pictures of Space Frog, but I can't go out right now. Can you help put them up for me? It's Space Frog from outer space. And He's a little frog character that I made up. I've never seen a real frog before, but I've seen pictures. Anyway, he lives in space and goes around to different planets helping people who are sad or need help. He's great. You will? Thank you, thank you, thank you! People are gonna be so happy. Here's a bunch of copies of the space frog drawing I made. You can post them in places where you think people will see them. Thank you so much! <laughs> Space frog.
many stories and films about demons, ghosts, and other entities on Mars. No wonder people here do not take religion seriously. And injuries are Pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. The community center on P1 is a good place to connect with others. I sure am glad you're helping me. Hi! Thanks for doing that for me. I wish I could do it myself, but having a friendly adult help me is almost as good. I know, right? Last time I did this, lots of people came over to tell me how much they loved it. I only hope these drawings stay up longer this time. Anyways, it's not much, but I got a little something for you as a thank you. Passing through or here to stay? I'm so behind on my work. When's the I heard you may have had something to do with that cute little poster on the community center wall. I assume that's one of Renee's specials and not your own? I hope no one Why, hello down. there. What can I help you with? Very have you come to fun. seek assistance from the House of Enlightenment?
will always be here if you need something or just want to meet people. Actually, before you go, would you mind helping me out with something? I was debating with my dear friend Horace and would like an outside opinion. He believes that faith in a higher power is what inspires more people to be good. I say that more people do good without any promise of divine reward or retribution. What do you think? Uh, yeah, Horace is right. We wouldn't even know what good is without God. Hmm. While I don't agree with you, I can definitely respect that opinion. Even if that higher power is a construct of the human mind, that construct serves as a sort of moral foundation, which drives people to be good. And if that divine morality developed early enough in human society, then maybe it still serves as our moral foundation, whether or not we have faith now. Thank you. Horace will be glad to hear about our conversation. Hi, welcome to Jane's, Sidonia's only 100% independent one-stop shop. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get. Okay, let me just pull up my stock and uh, there it is. Take a look. Please tell me what's up with the no ammo. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's something simple, like he ran out of fuel. It's an older ship and it may have had a minor leak. But I know there's a problem with pirates out there. This was Eric's first real piloting job and I'm worried they could tell he was easy pickings or something. Could just be my overactive imagination. Uh, I can go track him down. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. This 
Now? 